Welcome to video tutorial 19 and we are going to start putting our bear together. Um, so we're going to start with our body and our head. We've got an old pair of knitting needles, look they're even odd ones, but you can use hat pins or you can use nice long pins, um, even chopsticks as long as they're not too thick because you don't want to leave big holes in uh, poor Teddy's head. And it just helps us to hold, hold it in position while we're working, just makes it easier. We've got our scissors and the needle as well, and we're ready to begin. So putting our bear together, it says use two knitting needles or similar to hold Teddy's head in the desired position with a magic circle at the front. So that just means to have this at the front, it's the neatest side, and the back where we finished off will be the back of Teddy's head. So horizontal stitch, one stitch wide on the head, followed by one the same on the body. Repeat and carefully stitch all the way around Pulling your thread firmly every two stitches together, but not too tightly. We don't want him really tight. So we're going to show you how to do that. So we're going to get the body and we're going to pop the head on. We want it nice and centre. It's quite an easy one, this, because you can't really get the position wrong. But from the side, we don't want it really far forward or far back because we're going to, to cover the neck opening. So nice in the middle. So we're just going to pop those needles through. I tend to do them at one end this way and one this way and it holds it nicely. Go through a hole between the stitches so you're not breaking the threads. So we're just going to stand in there and then we're just going to wiggle it. I tend to get that forward a little bit and twist it gently. So ease it in. And then the other one, we're going to do the other way around. A little bit thicker this one, I couldn't find two the same. Thinner the better really because you don't want... So huge thick ones damaging your teddy bear. So we've got two in, there we go. So we'll check position before we start sewing, always check that you're happy with it. If you're not, you can soon move it, but once you've sewn in together, it's a little bit more difficult to do. So there we go. Does it look okay? Yeah, so we're happy it's pretty central and it's covering the opening at the side. So now we're going to thread our wool onto our needle. So we're using the strand that we left specially, that's why it always says to leave a certain length because then we've got it already and we don't have to join a new strand. So we're going to start by going underneath and coming out. Some of them when we close the head, the only reason for this, so I'm just going to go up through there look, and come out here. I'll try to zoom in so we can see that a little bit clearer. So I'm just going behind and coming out here. It's just so that that end knotty bit is pulled underneath and it pulls it inside the bear. So about one stitch horizontal on the head and one on the body, I'll show you what we mean by that. So we're going to do one stitch here. Now, if you see it, I'm going parallel with my strand. If we start over here or over here, you'll have big threads. So we're going pretty parallel. Just going to grab a stitch as close to we, as we can to where it's going to be joined. So we don't want to be taking one up here or one right underneath. It sounds obvious, but honestly, if you if you end up sewing up here, you'll end up pulling the head. So it's a bit lopsided. We don't want that. So we're doing one stitch on there. We'll do that. And then we're going to go parallel. So we're going to go opposite there, look. And just under about one stitch, look, it's like the V. That's just to give you something to aim for. So we do nice, small, neat stitches. Now we're going up level, roughly a stitch. It doesn't have to be exact, but it's just so you've got an idea of the size of the stitches that you're doing. And one parallel here. One parallel there. So we're just going all of the way around. And by gathering every few stitches, every few stitches, just pull it and it'll all gather and then you can pull it apart like that and make sure that there isn't a gap. If there's holes or gaps then it's not quite tight enough, pull it a bit tighter. But you don't want it so tight that you, you're really creating um, a big, you know, that's all gathering really tight. So you just want it so that it's holding the two together firmly but not gathering the neck. So we're just going to carry on with one in each. It's a little bit awkward there because We've got our, our um, knitting needle pulling through. I'm going to just pull that out for a second. 
see there's a bit of stuffing come out there so I'm just going to push that in with the end of my knee, um, scissors I'm going to carry on so we're doing one stitch so we're trying to keep around just underneath the edge of the body because we don't want to be coming down here and up here we just want to keep it as level as possible it's just a way to get it nice and neat so we're going to do three or four stitches and then we'll pull it to gather it all right so now gently pull you can see it pull together any bits of stuff in so just pop them in you can wait and just do that at the end if you prefer So we'll just continue going round like so. I'm hoping you can't hear that music. This music, it's a lovely sunny day here, <laughs> Friday afternoon. And I think people are starting to have uh, someone having a barbecue. So we're doing that. quite quick when you've done a few and then just gather keeping them nice and small and neat the idea is that then you can't really see much of the stitches if it's for a small child go around twice just to make it a little bit more secure because they do get a little bit more pulled around and we don't want them falling out so the, the head coming off and stuffing coming out if you see that happening Make sure you, you get it and sew it up nice and neatly. We don't want stuffing coming out. So we check out the pot, so pull it tight. It's looking pretty good. If your head was lopsided and you thought, oh goodness, it's you know, there's um, a big gap at one side, you could just go around that section again and just pull it a little bit nearer. So if we had a big gap there, we could go around again here and just pull it slightly further across by doing these stitches along there. That looks quite nice and even. Sorry, Teddy, we'll take those out of your head now before you get a headache. So it's held it in position and just keeps it nice and still while you're sewing. So we're happy with that. So we're going to finish off. So I'm going to go back in where I came out again and come out a few centimetres away. It's a lovely easy technique, this. That's why I use it on quite a few, anything we sew together really, with the parts. Back in and out. Okay, like so, and then pull and curl. And there we have it, we have Teddy the Bear's head sewn on. Let's have a look at you, Teddy. Look at you. Come in together now. So in the next video, we'll show you sewing some more parts on. I will see you shortly.